Hello guys, so my KS3L just arrived and uh, I posted a short video unpacking that box and um, I just hook it up, plug it in to internet and power connector, nothing fancy there, very simple. Now back on the desktop, all we have to do just run this Ice River min Miner tool. You can find this tool on their website. Uh, which is under, I'm gonna show you, so if you guys setting up that first time, you go to uh, support, tutorials, and then you just download batch processing tool. So you click on that, download, unzip, install. There's no installation, I think it just unzip, and then you run this Ice River Miner tool. So when you do my, uh, open that up, you will come with the screen just like that. I already ran. And make sure you go to your minor IPs and add the line which IP you're going to search from where you start. Uh, so you put your first three sets of digits here and then from 1 to 250 usually uh, if it's 192, 168. So you gotta make sure you add this, it will not search. Uh, my IP addresses are 10.0.0 and then from 1 to 250. Yours could be a standard router 192.168.0 or 1.1 one one and so forth. So make sure you add this. Once you add it, you just click start scan. So I scan it already through. Only show connected device. So I have six KS, KS zeros and now it's a new miner right here that it's online, right? So this is my new KS3L right here. Okay, version number basically says there. And it shows my internal IP address. So all I gotta do is just click on it and it's gonna bring me to the page. So first time when you log in, it will ask you for username and password, which is admin and then your password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and you enter so first thing you do you go your uh, here and select your pools so i usually put all three pools the same because i'm getting many mining on caspa pool and i open the new wallet address so i could just track this miner and i named it miner one so i'm going to track this miner separately this way will be easier for me just to track that ROI for that specific uh, KS3L miner. And that's pretty much for it. And then you go, you, you click save here. After you save, you go back to your home screen. Make sure your uh, hash rate seats, it jumped to 7 giga hash. And now it's back to 4.4. So probably going to be hovering there until it's set it up around the uh, between four and four and a half and five four. So hopefully it doesn't drop below because then I have to reset it. But um, for as of right now, uh, I'm going to try it on the Casper pool. I may going to switch to hump pool because I put two of my miners, as I mentioned, to hump pool, which they're pretty stable at uh, overall 200 giga hash for KS zeros okay so i'm gonna do that and try it out but first i set it up under ups here under the uh caspa pool new wallet i just barely use that for uh those two ks zero that just came for a couple days so this is really nothing 400 caspa there was paid so we're gonna track this as the new address and the minimum payout we're gonna set so your payout so basically i just had to pay out from those ks zero and now in the settings i set minimum payout four thousand right now so all you gotta do is just change this number and um, your uh, ip external ip address okay for your network so once you save this click here you will be uh, changing your minimum payout in caspa pools so very simple setup uh since it's been just running for uh slightly probably just few minutes let me see how many yeah just 14 minutes right so we've been here just around 
now 25 minutes yeah so the hash rate has been changing so it went to a 7 giga hash stayed there for like 5 10 minutes and now it's dropping down so it's about 25 minutes so we see online on the pool it shows still 2.56 ter hash so hopefully this number gonna get up and going and there are estimated earnings really like it's still not updating it's gonna take probably full 24 hours until we get through uh, get our payouts and all that uh, kind of settled all right so we'll start mining there if you guys recommend any other miner any other pools for this miner particular miner uh, so far is Casper pool been stable for me Ham pool was a lot better but not uh, lately I had an issue a couple times but uh, keep my fingers crossed for these two KS zeros it's been stable for the last couple days so I'm gonna check the stats and compare make sure they're uh, close to Caspa pool or better so I can stay here and just you know uh, try to average that what I like about ham pool is this stable hash rate average is about 190 a to 202 for two miners so that's roughly brings to 99 giga hash where if we go to our caspa pool for the same miners so see like it jumps to 100 but then our average 24 hours is 94 92 93 93 so that drops to 375 for four miners so it's about roughly 23 22 giga hash less i believe that's how i get a little bit of less rewards because of that uh, so that's that's about it i hope uh, you like that video we're gonna check up on the next probably a uh, couple hours how it's working if i need to reset uh, the temperature is here so now I do have okay so we do have uh, four fans which probably two in the front two in the back similar to what I've seen on KS1 KS2s probably all KS3 all the same and um, there is looks like a three boards with the temperatures okay so we we're getting like 17 1300 and 1100 because this one looks like hotter on the back end we do have uh, my minor shed is struggling because outside is 110 in Sacramento so it's really hard to cool it off this mining shed with being 110 outside you can imagine it's just crazy uh, I can't pull any air from outside so I have to just all ventilate and run through the AC so that's another power uh, usage for that unit but um, we're gonna start a new line here as of 816 here for the uh, KS3L actually gonna drop this one in and that's gonna be our starting point there these guys actually came two days ago on the 14th so uh, they arrived a little bit sooner than they estimated so here you go we are uh, supposedly supposedly getting uh, oh by the way we want to check the power consumption on this unit so what I've set up for my mining shed is this um, device uh, it's called um, uh, Emporia Ener Energy yeah. so this is the um, device sell, sell, sold online by the way for your KS3L you're gonna need this cable it doesn't come with the miner with the ASIC miner so you will have to buy that separately I'll post link down below if you're ordering this device you're gonna need uh, if you don't have one C19 uh, cable connector all right so that's the only thing that you're gonna need just to hook it up and uh, get it running and your network all right so here we back I was able to reset password and sign into Emporia Energy 
uh, monitoring so you could see my I have three panels and this panel is um, it's uh, I have it under minor 18 uh, where my KS3L connected so it's currently using 2460 watts which is less than it was um, I think it's 3100 or 3200 on the Let's see Ice River website. Where is it? KS3L. Yeah, so it's 3200 watts, but we actually get in 2400 watts. So, wow, that's great. I mean, I love it. Uh, that's for the long term, is actually really efficient because. Uh, like like I said we're gonna have this next uh, hash rates going up pretty quickly and this power consumption at 25 let's put 2500 wow that's three dollar less in the power just at my rate so uh, this is great so hopefully I'll be getting around um, 8,000 CASPA a day? Probably not. Mm. Let's see where we are with the CASPA. Um, we are at 9.99, so about 10 pentahash, about the same. That was just 100, 9,093, so about the same. It's the, uh, it was going in the tens. It dropped just a tiny bit. Anyways, uh, that's where we are with our KS3L. Uh, let's see what happened in there. We're around 46, nine, so around 47 giga hash. Let's see if we have any updates. Oh, it is 30 minutes update to 5 tera hash. So yeah, it's a 5,000 giga hash, 5 tera hash. That's where we are right now so we'll see how we go for the next few hours and uh, 24 hours that will get you update on this uh, minor KS trail hopefully we'll get cooler days in the next few days it's it's been 110 today tomorrow will be around 100 and then it will drop to 95 97 so it's been a hot summer so I hope you